Good morning everyone, welcome to FlexiFit. My name is Laura Jane and today we're gonna to do a little flow for our legs, our abs and our arms. Let's get going. Okay, we're gonna start in our parallel position again, making sure that our core is connected, our ribs aren't sticking out, they're in. Hips are over our ankles, shoulders over our hips. Close the eyes, take a second just to notice what's going on. Can you feel all of your foot on the floor, your toes, your heels? Roll the shoulders back, roll the shoulders forward. And take a second to settle in, notice how you feel. So we're going to start with a little plie, same as we did last week. We're going to bend the knees, we're going to release, and then we deepen as we breathe in. And we breathe out. Bend, release, one. And open. And two. Two more, three. Yes, 
Shake out your head. No, relax those knees a little bit and then we roll up slowly, making sure that head is the last thing to come up. Just shake out. Modern up every, up every time I finish an exercise. Just check in again. Notice how that feels on different parts of your body. We're going to go to the bar today. So, we will be working between a parallel position and a rotated position. First position in ballet. So just work with your range of movement. Okay? So this is my range of movement. That's where my turnout is, my hip turnout. So that's what I'm going to work on. If you've over rotated or you've gone too far, it'll be hard to get your baby toe onto the ground. So you want to feel all of your foot on the floor. As I said quite a lot in the last <laughs> video actually. So what we are going to do, we're going to bend our knees and again we're keeping that alignment. So we want to keep our shoulders on top of our hips, on top of our knees, ankles, feet. So we're in that nice alignment. Hands on hips just so you can notice what we're doing. What we want to avoid with these, we're not doing squats, we're not pushing back. We're going straight down and straight up. So that's the alignment that we want to keep. We want to avoid our ribs flaring, so we want to keep that connection to the core and we want to keep our ribs in. So we're going to plie, we're going to stretch, we're going to rise and we're going to lower. Things we're looking for, making sure you can feel all of your foot on the floor, making sure the knees don't go in, making sure you can feel all of your toes on the floor and making sure we're not doing this. So it's about keeping that alignment. We're going to do this in parallel and then we're going to do it turned out. Option to have your hand on a bar or a wall, just for balance, but we want to keep our body in correct alignment. So just notice, are you leaning? Again, it's just to check in. It's not to uh, berate ourselves and like, oh my God, you're so stupid for not doing that. It's just to notice because our muscle memory can take quite a while sometimes to get that connection and to get that position that we're looking for. Hands on hips or arms out to the side, long neck, shoulders down. We plie, we stretch, we rise up and lower, and a two, and stretch, and rise up, and lower, and a three, and stretch, rising up, and lower, and a four, and stretch, rising up. We're going to do rise, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, eight more. We have eight, and seven, and six, core connection, four, and three, and two, and one. So it's great for the calves, great for lengthening. So we want to really lengthen throughout all of these uh, exercises. Um, if, if we find that our legs are bending when we're trying to degage them or move them from the hips, we're just sitting in the hips a bit more. So we just need to lengthen. Okay, and sometimes if we've been walking around for years, not that we walk around like that, but if we've been sitting a lot or if we walk and our posture's not great, the hips are gonna take a lot of that impact. So we always wanna think about lengthening. We're gonna do exactly the same thing, but this time we're gonna turn our feet out. Option to have the arms here. If we've got the arms in second, resist. So we're pushing down. We're working our arms as well. Here we go, plie one. And stretch, rising up. Lower, and a two. Make sure that the feet aren't rolling. And three, and up, dun, 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 and a four. Can you feel all of your toes when you rise up? We have one, and two, and three. Core connection, five, and six, and seven. Ribs in, shoulders down. And seven, and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one, and shake out. Nice little burn there for the calves. Ooh, ooh. Just stretch out the calves if you need to. That's always good to do. And, okay, great. We're gonna go down onto the floor now for a little bit of a stretch and a condition. Let's go, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna face this way just so you can see the position of my legs. So we're lying on our backs. And again, we just want a natural position, so we don't want the ribs to flare. Um, notice or try and rotate. So we need to lengthen the legs. So imagine someone's grabbing your ankles and pulling them out of your hip sockets. So rotate and rotate, parallel to turn out. So we want to be in this rotated position. So we're flexing the feet 
and we're gonna beat. Beat, beat, then we open the legs, then we change with the left. Beat, beat, and open the legs, okay? So there's a lot going on, we're gonna do 16 of these. There's a lot going on, we wanna try and keep the legs nice, nice and lengthened. We wanna keep the legs straight. We wanna try and keep that rotation, really flex the feet, really point, and we're resisting. So we're working all of these inner thigh muscles, okay? We wanna make sure that the, the legs aren't going down here to put pressure on the back. We wanna keep the legs straight up from our hips. So we rotate, we go flex, flex and a point. And a flex, flex and a point. Watch the chin and flex, flex and a point. And a flex, flex and a point. Here we go, four, four. And open, three, and open, and two, and open, and one. I don't know why it starts from four, because we need to do eight more. Da -da -da. And seven, keep lengthening, focus. And a five, and a four, and a three, and a two, and a one. And bring the knees in, release that lower back, roll the back onto the ground, that should feel really nice, really juicy. Bring the feet up to a happy baby, so you can hold the big toe, you can hold the outer, outer side of the foot, you can hold the inner side of the foot, and literally just give, give your back a nice, juicy, juicy stretch. Okay, okay so from uh, here, we're just gonna go into a little uh, pelvic lift, and we're gonna do some roll-ups for our core as well. So again, this is really nice for the spine. Um, we can do these exercises thinking of how difficult they are, how much it burns, or we can do them and really focus in on what's going on. How does it feel? How can we strengthen? How can we nourish our body from the inside out? Because that's what it is. It's not torture. It shouldn't be torture. It should be respect and listening to our bodies and just nourishing them. We need to uh, we need to move our bodies more than we realise. I think. Okay, so just check the pelvis uh, pelvic position or the pelvis position. I should say. So rolling the spine into the background and releasing and in and release. Sometimes this just feels lovely as well. And then we want to find a neutral spine. Okay, so you feel the ribs on the ground and then tuck the chin. So we've got a nice long spine. So you're holding. Um, um, a ball or just keep a nice kind of natural side so we're going to be looking up and we don't want to be tucking our chin too much. We are going to breathe in, arms, options have the arms out to the side or down by your side. We want to keep the neck nice and long, we breathe in. As we breathe out, we're going to peel that, the hips off. So we really push that spine into the ground, breathe out and lift. We breathe in and breathe out, rolling down. Breathe in, squeeze the glutes, breathe in, and roll down, two more, breathe in, and breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out, last one, breathe in, and breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out. Again, just bringing the knees in. If your lower back gets a little bit stuck, this is quite a nice one. If your lower back is giving you trouble, uh, really focus on that core connection. For me, if my back is giving me trouble, it's usually because I don't have that uh, core connection. That's one thing that I have to keep reminding myself of. But again, that's why we all have different things that we need to sort of really focus on the things that come a little bit easier to us. So option to have the feet flat. You can have your knees up or you can have them slightly bent. What we don't want to do is let this back arch and really flare the ribs. So we want to feel the, the lower ribs on the ground. We want to breathe in, shoulders away from our ears. And we're going to roll up. So we've got to roll up. We breathe in. Lengthen the arms, again, we breathe in, breathe out, sitting nice and tall, breathing in, connect to the core first, two more, breathe in, connect to that core, breathe in, breathe out, Last time, breathing in, breathe out. Option to bend the knees if you need stretch, breathe in, breathe out. And release, very good. We're just gonna do a little stretch today to finish 
up. And again, if you need to stretch anything else out, I'll do another video just on the stretches actually. So we'll have our left leg up, we're going to cross our right leg over, bend the left knee, knee option to have that. Option to have the hands behind the thigh or in front of the calf, flexing that right foot, pushing that right knee towards the opposite wall. And we're just going to circle. I like a bit of movement in these uh, positions. I feel like it relaxes a bit more. Watch that chin position, making sure the spine is nice and long. Really massage that lower back into the ground. It should feel lovely. With your left hand, we're going to take our right ankle. We're going to bring our right ankle, or right foot to the floor. We're going to push that knee away from us, and we're going to try and keep all of our shoulders, all of all two of them, <laughs> both of our shoulders on the ground, pushing that knee away from you. And we're going to do four breaths. Breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe in. Can't remember if that's three or four. And release. I'll count them this time. Okay, uh, left leg up, right. That's your right leg up, left leg across, bending that right leg, bringing that knee towards you, flexing that left foot, pushing the left knee towards the opposite side of the room. Make sure your neck is nice and long so we're not tucking our chin or we're not lifting our chin. Take four breaths, take any movement that you need, breathing in.